This recording is going to show you how to use course pages in Genesis. Alright, so you have to first log into Genesis, and when you're on the main gradebook home screen, you'll see a tab for course pages. You can select it. Um, what's nice about course pages is it's a way to kind of have a mini website for parents that's right there in Genesis next to their child's progress for your course. Um, you'll see here I have several because I teach on the quarter. You'll have whatever appears, so if you teach full year courses, you'll have it by uh, the different preps that you have. Um, and then just like in Lesson Planner, you can link courses that are the same, so that if you have four of the same prep, you don't have to create four separate course pages. You can simply click on the link, select the sections that would be linked to it, hit update, and then you would actually link those courses so that when you make a change to the page for, let's say, 6052, it will also be the page for 6056 and 6057. This way I don't have to create three pages, even though I have three of those courses. All right, I'm going to hit cancel because I've actually done all my linking. All right, I'm going to bring you in um, to the preview of what a course page looks like. Um, it's kind of nice that you can preview it too. You'll see here it's very simple. Basically, you can post and you can have links. All right, and both are very easy to do. So first, if I come over to the links menu, uh, actually, before I do that, I want to show you one other thing. Up at the top, you can give a page title. I've named mine Welcome to Computers 1. Once you have it set the way you want, you should check off this published box and hit save because it will publish that course page, all right, so that you can see it, so the parents can see it. Um, if you don't publish it, only you will be able to see it, and it will not serve the purpose that you're looking for. All right, then I clicked on links here. Links is just a place to link sites that might be useful for parents and or students. Um, so I've linked my Google site, which has all of my handouts. I've linked a folder that has sample projects for parents to view and students to view. And I've also linked the typing web course that we use for the students in computers. And it's very simple. You just hit create new link. Link label is whatever words you want to appear. So if I was doing the PTHSD homepage, I could do that. And then I could just type the web address for the PTHSD homepage or copy and paste it in. Hit create, and it would create that link. Okay, once you've created them, I'm going to just cancel it out because I'm not trying to add that right now. Just hit save links just to make sure they're all saved. Then you can go back to your preview. And you'll see your useful links over here. And again, I have a link to my Google site, my folders, and Typing Web. You can test them just to make sure it works. So like I said, I'll just log quickly show you that it does go to my virtual site. All right. The other nice feature of course pages is the ability to post little messages, as you can see here on mine. Um, I do a weekly post, and I include the assignment macro for the week that lets parents know what's coming up that week. Okay, and it's just nice to have a little bit of communication about what you're doing in class. Um, nothing too big, just enough that parents can read it and have a sense of what their child is doing. All right, so I go to posts. And again, this is really easy and user friendly. I hit create new post. I come up with my subject. Let's say I want to do digital citizenship week, which is next week. I want to post it on Sunday night. And I do want to add the weekly assignment macro. And then I hit create. And then once I'm in, I can change colors, I can change fonts. Um, this spot here where it says weekly assignments will make it appear so the parents see the assignments that are due, so don't change anything there unless you want to just change color, like I always change mine to purple. Um, and then you can go on to type whatever message you want, all right, and then just save the post when you're done. So I could just say test, because um, I don't know what I'm going to put there yet, and I can go back and edit it before it has to post. You also can upload documents. They'll just appear on the side of the post, um, but it's very simple. I can just go right in here. I can go to anywhere on my computer. I can go to my Dropbox. And I could choose to pick, just let's say, any document for now, just to show you. Hit, hit that, open, upload, and then the document will actually appear over there on the side. Okay, and then this would post when it was ready to post. All right, make sure you do a save to your post. Always save everything. You hit save. In this case, I'm going to delete the post because I actually don't want this post to appear yet. I want to fix it before I post it on Sunday. But it's that simple, just putting messages in. So I'm going to delete that post. That's okay. Okay. And then the only other tab you have here, so you've got the preview tab again, so you can just keep going back and forth to see what it looks like. If you've set the post date for something into the future, you will not see it on the preview because the preview shows you exactly what the parents see at this time. All right. And then settings, the settings page just has a couple other things you can do. Like you can set it up for an auto um, generated posts. So if you wanted to post something that was repetitive, you know, the same thing, if you have a weekly post that you always want generated on Sunday and it's the same message, you could always just select the day you want it posted, the time you want it posted. So let's say I wanted it to go in at 8 p.m. 
And then if I always wanted to add the weekly mac mac macro assignment, it would always be in there. OK. And then I could save the settings. And I could say post. All right, so I want to post it once a week. If a weekly post, what day would you like the post to be generated? Sunday. What time? 8 o'clock. And it would always have the weekly macro. And then I would enter the post. But this would only be if you had the exact same message that you wanted to generate each week. OK, and that's why I don't have one set up, because I like to use it to mention weekly events. Um, and they aren't the same, obviously, each week. But the, if there was a need for you to have a, a post that appeared every week, this would be the way to do it so you don't have to type the exact same post. All right, and I'm not going to save these settings because I don't want there to be a weekly post. In fact, I'm going to take everything out and just go back. All right, so that's just a simple intro to course pages. It's, again, a very easy, useful tool, um, user-friendly to the teacher and user-friendly to the parent. Um, so it's something great. Try it out and see if it helps to improve communication between you and your students' parents. Thank you.